So in addition to the meaningful use legislation that passed in 2009, there's currently legislation in the Congress uh, called the 21st Century Cures Act, which proposes to make some significant changes in the health information technology landscape. <laughs> Excuse me. The first one is it defines interoperability, which is uh, sort of the ability to exchange and use information. And then it also talks about information blocking. And there was a recent report from the Office of the National Coordinator on information blocking showing that um, uh, or providing anecdotes at least that some healthcare organizations and some EHR vendors were uh, pro prohibiting or at least making it difficult to exchange information from one organization to another. This could be as simple as um, refusing to join a health information exchange in your local area or perhaps even uh, going from an opt-in strategy where people, uh, from an opt-out strategy, excuse me, where people have to say they don't want to be part of the health information exchange to go into an opt-in strategy where patients have to specifically uh, request to be in, included in the in, in exchange. It turns out that uh, people are much more, are reluctant to actually do something. So if you make it easier for them to do nothing and we get the exchange, it'll work better than if we force them to do something to get the exchange. It also eliminates some of the, the health IT standards committees, which has a lot of people in the informatics community working, uh, worried because they spend a lot of time on those committees. It's trying to increase transparency, and recently there's been a lot of uh, talk about gag clauses and different EHR contracts that prohibit um, users of those systems from talking about uh, the problems they've had with their electronic health records and showing screenshots and sh sharing those screenshots. And in terms of enforcement, there's some new uh, laws underway that will try to improve the uh, interoperability. There's even talk of trying to make some sort of a consumer reports ranking system that would rank the different EHRs.